Are you a 34-year-old woman who's having trouble getting pregnant? Are you tired of all those injections that are getting nowhere? What if I told you chiropractic could help? Over my 27 years in practice, I have seen many women spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on in vitro fertilization and get nowhere, but with a few treatments by me, magically get pregnant. Check out this story. This is a really, 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 really important video. And like I said, I was down on my knees begging her. Well, not yet, I was about to get on my knees. But um, she and her husband are having trouble getting pregnant, okay? And they've been married three years, and they've been under um, uh, medical supervision for two solid years. I'm gonna have her go over this, to do this, and they, she's back, she's in America actually, trying to do it here too. And so she goes, will this help, will, will chiropractic help me get pregnant? And I say, absolutely. And the reason for that is that I don't, <laughs> I'm gonna put this class. I'm not gonna fix her uterus or her ovaries, but what I'm gonna do is I'll make her body better balanced so her body can accept the baby better, can implant better, can stay and be viable longer, and, and so she can stay pregnant. And that's something chiropractic does wonderful at. Again, I'm not promising this, I'm just saying balancing her body is gonna help her tremendously, okay? So, Carissa, tell us, why you're in America first and then we'll go from there. Um, because we're trying for almost three years and then um, I was so devastated because you know doing this is it's not my thing actually. Chiropractic is that your thing? Or uh, No what I mean is because for me if God could give it to me. Gotcha. Yeah. I totally get it. Yeah. yeah. That's why oh, I don't know. Yeah. I can do this. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> You're I, know, I, know, I know. She, she's really nervous, and I get. I think you can hear her voices, guys. But again, I just want to get her captured on here because, again, you. Because I've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. I totally yeah. get it. This is a very emotional thing, but you're going to help to a lot of women out there. There's a lot of women out there that have the same problem. They have no idea how chiropractic can help. So I really, really thank you. Try to make it through it if you can. Uh, this is really important. Okay. So she can see the emotional distress she has and she really, really wants to be pregnant. She's worried about God. Does God want to take it from her and not give her this or does God intend her to go through this journey? And so again, just so you know what I do as a chiropractor, I'm not forcing your body to be pregnant at all. Medicine does that. Medicine injects this stuff, forces your body to take this baby. What I do is I work on your body and let God work it out. If God wants to have a baby, by me adjusting your body, it's gonna allow your body to work the way God intended. So I'm working with you. I want the same thing as you do. Again, I'm not forcing it. This is allowing your body to do what it naturally does, okay? okay. So it's really, should be perfect in that respect, okay? So um, how many times have you tried to go through the medical? Um, three times for IUI and two times for IVF. Yeah, so see you guys, really, really emotional. You can see her distress. Okay, so again, we don't need to go any more on that. So let's tell us about some of the pain you have. She doesn't have a lot of pain, she says. The big thing she had when she was uh, 18 years ago, she was a cheerleader. Of course, you can see that in here. She, no, yeah. And so she landed a where? Where'd you land when you fell? Uh, here. On the back of her head. The back of my yeah. Head. And so she landed hard, had to go to the hospital. Nothing, fro another fracture, but ever since then, tell us about your pain in your head. Tell us about the pain. Back um, there. Every time I sleep at night, and then when I woke up here at the side, there's a pain, but. It's just a little bit of pain. Just a little bit of pain, right? Okay, so, uh, but she has this pain all the time, ever since the accident. And uh, tell us about, uh, she also gets some headaches, but only when the sun is bright. But tell us about this thing when you watch TV now, too. When I watch TV for five to eight hours straight. <laughs> I'm laughing only because yeah. she's like, I watch it a long time, I go, what, two hours? She goes, eight hours? I go, what do you do, binge watch? <laughs> SoCal chiropractor on YouTube? She goes, no, I don't watch your channel at all. <laughs> she's gotta watch it, though. Okay. Anyways, uh, she watches a lot of hours. What happens to your eyes? Um, strain. It is strain my eyes, and then sometimes I had get a headache from watching TV. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. And so these are all symptoms of bad balance. And so I asked her this too, and I was like, oh, "Where is this going? Where is this going?" I asked her about dizziness. Tell us about the dizziness. Oh. You vertigo. You said the lightheaded. You get lightheaded. Yeah, lightheaded. Oh. Well, I had. Remember you have ringing your ears? We talked about oh, yeah, the ringing yeah, your ears, yeah. right? I think it's because of the medication, because before, there's yeah. nothing like that. But you talked about the dizziness, light, being lightheaded, dizzy. Yeah, I think it's because of the medication. Oh, okay, I thought, you, I thought you said you had it for three years. 
three years, I think, because of the stress. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. But she's had vertigo and she's had lightheadedness. And again, the reason I'm only pointing that out is because this is what I work on. And so everybody out there knows that balance is the key. And so you think it's the you think it's the medication, but it's not that not just that. So, <laughs> but we'll know. see. We'll show you as we move forward. Okay. okay. I just want to document it right now. One last thing: sleep. Tell us about your sleep. Oh, you think it's great because she's <laughs> she's a pothead now. <laughs> No, she's not a pothead. Uh, she does CBD oil. Yeah. And so since then, I go, why did you CBD oil? Because we had terrible sleep. So she's had terrible sleep for a number of years, right? Mm -hmm. And so she's taken, started doing the CBD oil. She thinks she has better sleep now. Mm -hmm. But she's had horrible anxiety and depression for every month, for, for years. For years. And so, uh, again, this is all going hand in hand. I, I'm applauding her for letting me do the video because this is a lot of, of personal stuff to put out there. So, again, be kind to her, guys, because she's going, at, you can see how nervous she is. So thank you so much. Anything else you want to add? Um, here, the back of here. Back of the thing, yeah. I, mean, I think it's uh, my um, stress point. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. killing me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How long has it been there? Three years? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> we had a joke. She got married three years ago. So I go, so when did that pain start? Three years ago. When did your headache start? Three years ago. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay. it's a horrible joke. Okay, stand over here, please. So I'm going to go through some range of motions for you guys to kind of see what was going on. Just basic stuff. Go ahead and bend over, touch your toes, please. Any pain in your back there? Just here. Just where? Here. And your knees, got you. And your back, okay, back of your legs. Go ahead back like this, please. How about that? Any pain there? Here. And the low back, on a scale of one to ten, how bad is that? Um, three. Three? And put your arms down, look at the floor, please. Any pain in your neck? No. You, okay, you don't have it now this time? Okay, so look at the ceiling, please. She had pain on here earlier, so just asking. No pain? No. Gotcha. Now, one last thing, let's go ahead and squat to the ground, please. Squat lower, can you get lower? Why is it, is it hard? Because you have pain in your knees, your back, or just the balance? Just the balance. Gotcha, go ahead and squat, good. Have you been to a chiropractor before? Yeah. You have? To Philippines. Philippines? And when was that? Um, How many years ago? I didn't even ask her this question. I think months ago. Months ago? Yeah. What'd you go for? I'm curious. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you did go. Yeah. Have you got for acupuncture at all too? Yeah. Gotcha. And any other treatments you've had um, in the last year, two years? Three years. Um, Cairo, acupuncture, and the third eye wellness. For what's for that? What's um, that? It's for anxiety. Anxiety? Okay, so yeah. you guys obviously there's a lot of stuff going on here. You ready to get treated? Yeah. Go down your back, please. And diving into Chris's x rays, we see a four millimeter left imbalance and eight degree spinal curve. Here we have 16 degree scoliosis, where the baby will grow, by the way. Here we have met mid neck reversal and one third atlas square with a wisdom tooth in there also, and rib calcification and constipation on this last view. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just like um, the Filipino doctors, ouch. right? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. They never are. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Uh, uh. Now you know why I want to do the first video. Okay. Different, right? <laughs> I don't think I can still do it. Okay. Oh. We got one more adjustment. But it feels great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> so you think we're doing something different here? Oh my god, yeah. Is this a little more intense than acupuncture? This is more intense. Is this more intense than the chiropractor you've been into yeah. before? Yeah. <laughs> so that was quite an adjustment. So now we're going to help Carissa up and get her into position so we can talk to her. Reminding her not to twist and turn or she will undo my work. Uh, she's looking a little bit uh, uneasy, but we're going to let her relax here and let's check out. Don't twist your neck, girl. Look straight ahead. Keep your arms to your side. Let's see how she's doing. I feel relief. How do you feel relief? In your neck, uh, your back, or? Here. There. Here at my neck. Gotcha. Ever felt anything like that before? No. It's my first time. Now, lastly, we're going to send Carissa down the hall, of course, to recalibrate. And this spreads the adjustment from the neck through the whole body. Look at her cool posture. I think it's her old cheerleading days. Let's see how she's doing. You feel a little different at all? Yeah. Let's go back to the room. We'll talk in there. Oh, that feels great. 
good. <laughs> now she's like a star from the camera. Yeah. Oh my okay. god. They think you're being disingenuous. Do you feel different? I mean, do you feel like this is really something different? Tell us exactly how you feel. What feels so good about it? Um, the thing that you crack my head, it feels great. I don't know why, but it feels great. Now, the, the, the head yeah. feels lighter kind of stuff? Yeah. Gotcha. It feels lighter here. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> okay, now it sounds like it's okay over here please let's go through the range of motions you didn't have a lot of pay with these but we're going to go through these just to see how you feel different okay face the camera then over touch toes please okay oh i can reach my toes now yes how much better is that that was a three a minute ago right <sighs> why you look like so confused with that? yeah i'm so confused why can i reach my toes because i'm the shit I know what oh I'm my doing. God. <laughs> come on. You don't come all this way. I don't brag this much. I'm not this narcissistic like for no magic. reason. I'm not kidding, guys, but it's like magic. Oh. Oh. Okay, back like this. I was about to say something else. I can't say something else. It's just the neck, right? Yeah, just the what neck. What it feels like? Everything. I know, it's so weird, huh? Yeah. Well, you tell them that because they don't believe it. Yeah, just try it, guys. Oh, okay. now look at you. Now you just, <laughs> just try go it. Go back like this, go back like this. Let's go back. Yeah. Looser, right? Yeah. Good. Do you think you can oh. get pregnant now? <laughs> sorry. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't. Uh, oh, all right, all right. That was a but delayed you, joke, but I still I couldn't help it. It was just time, like, right? <laughs> yes, your first time. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, look at the floor, please. Look at the floor. No, look, look at the floor. Okay, look. Yeah, you had ten. Can I do pull. it again? Because, of course. You know. Knock yourself out. Oh, I can't imagine that. This joke just keeps on giving. <laughs> okay. It's okay. No, keep doing it. I, I, you can turn the other way if you want to. Thank you, doctor. Thank <laughs> no, you. Hold on. Thank okay. I want you to squat. I want you to squat. You want to squat. Oh, it feels great. It's How's just that? a nap, but you know. Did I do anything else? You were awake the whole time. No roofies here. Oh, it's just incredible, guys. Different, right? Uh, yeah, it's different. Uh, I can imagine that you can do that. It's just like a magic. It's magic, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so again, this is only the first day, guys, and uh, she's not here for her back pain. She was here to get for, pregnant. Yeah. And so, uh, <laughs> but I just want I, again. I mean, I'm making jokes, but think about it. If her body is now more balanced, if she has this le least pain, she's going to sleep better. If all that is in place, do you think she's going to have more of a chance to get pregnant or less of a chance? I mean, it's just a, it's a common thing. It's very easy to understand that. Take the leap of faith, and so. I don't think she's gonna get pregnant in five days, but we're gonna have to get her. She's gonna have to email us and tell us she is. <laughs> but anyways, we're awesome, going right? back here next year again. You are? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> For me? Yeah, of course. Look at that. That's such a lie. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for the so video. much, Doctor. Thank you. See you guys next time. Thank you.